Bobby Williams, formerly of band Take That fame, has taken on the roles of a hands-on father to four kids and husband to actress Ada Field. In the past decade, his life has shifted gears as he juggles a music career and family life. Nestled in the heart of West London, the Williams family had found their haven in a 17.5 million pound mansion. This move came after a thoughtful consideration that led them to sell properties in Los Angeles, Switzerland, and Wiltshire. Robbie offloaded a 10 bedroom Beverly Hills home to rapper Drake, while in spring 2022, the couple purchased a new $49.5 million estate in the LA area of Homeby Hills. This current mansion, once owned by actress Fanny Bryce, includes a main house and three guest houses, offering ample space for the couple and their four kids. Hey everyone, it's Kara, and if you want to see more of what I've been up to in my free time, then check out my new DIY account, Fix It With Kara. I would love to connect with you all there. Despite selling his old Beverly Hills home to Drake, Robbie Williams snagged a stunning new mansion in the exclusive Homeby Hills area of LA in early 2022 for just shy of $50 million. Quite possibly a bargain when you realize the charm and history of the place. Mr. Williams' recent acquisition is known as the Faring Estate. State, property with a rich history. Originally constructed in the 1930s, this European style residence sprawls over approximately two acres and underwent extensive reconstruction in the early 2000s. This expansive property is made up of a main house and two guest houses, one of which was designed by renowned LA architect John Elgin Wolf. Robbie's main family mansion boasts a grand two story entryway featuring a spiral staircase, a formal living room, and a bar. The listing details a wood paneled great room with an adjoining office, as well as features like a wine cellar, a children's playroom, and a salon. Robbie Williams and his wife Ada have been sinking their fortune of approximately $300 million into some of the most glamorous real estate on the planet. This house, well, it's no different. The main mansion is found behind the double gated entry, located on just under two private acres of land. There's a circular motor court and a second gated motor court with a garage, which can accommodate 15 or more cars. Encompassing 18,925 square feet, Robbie's family compound has eight bedrooms and 11 baths too. So there's plenty of room for the family and then some. The two level mansion has an impressive light paneled entry foyer with a spiral staircase and inlaid wood floor. The main living room is full of California sunshine through expansive windows, while detailed molding graces the ceiling, keeping with old world artisan touches that give each room a distinct period charm. Despite the historical elements of the home being maintained, there are plenty of modern upgrades as well. The library, formally paneled, introduces a touch of whimsy with a large, quirky art piece between its entry doors. While Robbie and Ada likely infuse their unique interior design choices and furniture into the new home, the vintage character features of the house is still a pretty fabulous backdrop. The formal dining room accommodating 12 guests comfortably features scenic wallpaper above its wall panels, showing trees over water. The chef's kitchen seamlessly combines modern and luxury. The kitchen space is complete with a cozy breakfast nook and top of the line stainless steel appliances. The master suite where Robbie and his wife lay their heads is a private and relaxing haven, boasting a sitting area, fireplace, and separate baths, a dream for any couple. The his and hers baths each have their own distinct vibes, with his carrying a masculine feel and hers featuring a more feminine touch, along with a bonus hair salon station. Additional features include a book line study with views over the grounds, a comfortable family room with fireplace, sauna, and ample outdoor space. The property offers a spacious lawn, a saltwater pool, and pool house with an outdoor terrace, an indoor fitness center with a vaulted ceiling, and a pristine tennis court. For those with the green thumb, a brick paved raised bed veggie and flower garden adds charm and functionality. Notably, the gym in Robbie's mansion is equipped with plush armchairs for post-workout relaxation because sometimes we all overdo it. The grounds also feature a long koi pond with gentle fountains and benches, creating an idyllic spot for quiet thoughts, maybe even inspiration for the next Robbie Williams album. 
A couple snapped up the property in the early 2000s, Lauren King and her husband. And this was after the mansion had seen owners like Robert Taylor and Alan Ladd Jr., producers who produced Braveheart and Gone Baby Gone. And the couple renovated this home into the modern den of luxury it is today. While Robbie and Ada enjoy plenty of time in Los Angeles, they also own a multi-million dollar residence across the pond in Robbie's native England. Nestled in the heart of Kensington, West London, the family reside in their opulent 17.5 million pound mansion known as Woodland House in the Holland Park area. The historical property even boasts a blue plaque commemorating the residence of the renowned artist Luke Fields. With about 47 rooms, Robbie acquired the mansion in 2013, but faced challenges from neighbor Jimmy Page when seeking planning permission for an underground swimming pool. The Led Zeppelin musician, while he shared concerns about potential damage to the structural integrity of his castle-like mansion next door. After a five-year battle, Robbie secured permission in 2018 to build his dream pool extension. After all that time, I really hope it was worth it. Woodland House is a large detached home with a rich history. Constructed in the Queen Anne style by architect Richard Norman Shaw from 1875 to 1877, it holds grade two listed status. Initially commissioned by Luke Fields, a blue plaque was dedicated to him. Luke Fields was a painter and one-time resident, regarded Woodland House as the superior of the two homes designed by Sean Melbury Road. Michael Winner, a film director, lived in the home until his passing in 2013. Then the property found a new owner in the singer Robbie Williams, who still owns it to this day. Since acquiring Woodland House, Robbie has undertaken substantial renovations and including those that had conflicts with his neighbor, Mr. Jimmy Page. Despite these challenges, Woodland House remains an iconic part of Kensington's architectural landscape. And despite the occasional hurdles, Woodland House is also part of Robbie and Ada's shared vision of a home filled with love, laughter, and the pitter-patter of tiny feet. The couple welcomed their fourth child on Valentine's Day in 2020, which shows their commitment to family life and each other. Their homes reflect their unique tastes, blends a vintage charm and modern luxury. The carefully curated spaces from the wood paneled foyer to the expansive living room echo the couple's shared journey of blending the old and the new. That'll bring today's house tour to a close, but before we wrap things up, answer this question for me. If someone produced a documentary on you and your past, would you be able to watch and relive your cringiest moments? Let me know in the comments if you could be part of a flick like Robbie Williams is doing about his own life. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!